early morning shows are the most popular with Kenyans. Mm. <laughs> That's what I hear. Yeah, but in fact, um, <laughs> if you look to uh, the what you call the, the statement, what you call the company mm -hmm. that does the service, mm, yes. that they do service, mm. those radio stations with that kind of language probably they're the ones best rated. Yeah, that's what I was saying. But yeah. uh, but I think uh, th that uh, that's on a light uh, uh, touch. I think there is a regulation mechanism under under the media council, and uh, I am sure if uh, if the person who told you about that uh, goes to the media council, he will be informed that there are some disciplinary uh, procedures uh, mm -hmm. that have been undertaken against some media houses. In fact, some of those morning, early morning shows that have engaged in obnoxious uh, discussions, I, I think have been subject of some disciplinary uh, mm. procedure by the media council. That's why I, I was saying at the beginning that uh, the best way to rein in on uh, some of these uh, programs that may not be uh, discharging favorable content to, to the uh, people, maybe to families, is to strength, strengthen the existing uh, mm. disciplinary mechanisms mm -hmm. within the media council which has uh, an aspect of self-regulation. Mm. It's not to, you know, to bring in the, the state and, and say, now we want to hit these guys very hard and, and uh, remove away the self-regulation mechanism. Uh, you know, making it almost impossible uh, for anybody to want to practice journalism in this country. Mm -hmm. We accept that uh, mistakes can be there, inappropriate conduct can mm. be there from the media, but let's have uh, a mechanism of dealing with this that does not uh, negate the constitutional uh, spirit of freedom of the media, but which at the same time uh, exerts more responsibility on our journalists. Mm -hmm. yes. Right. <laughs> Nation published a picture the other day after that Westgate thing, which was uh, rather unpleasant. There was a clamor against that. And uh, people asking what, or people don't know what happened. And uh, they say if, if a newspaper like Nation can publish that kind of picture. Mm. What about others? What about others? <laughs> mm. Okay. The I think first in, in acknowledgement, I, I think I saw an apology. There I was, was, an, there was fairly, an apology. I was fairly yeah. uncomfortable about, uh, about that uh, myself. And, and as I told you, I, in the past I have served as a member of, of the Media Council representing Law Society of Kenya. Mm -hmm. I was also fairly uncomfortable with that uh, picture. But I was happy to, to note that uh, the, on the following day, mm -hmm. the nation put in an apology, and it apologized to the, to the people of Kenya. And uh, I, I want to assure you know, the aggrieved Kenyans that anybody who was aggrieved by that picture still has a remedy of filing a complaint with the Media Council of Kenya. And in, it can impose in, fact, uh, in fact, what one that maybe the public does not know is that uh, the company itself realized the mistake, yeah. and mm -hmm. they had a board meeting, mm. and they did take disciplinary action to the people or persons or yeah, who, yes. who are responsible for that. Uh -huh. Only that the people do not know mm. because I think somebody was disciplined. Uh -huh. That's good. Yeah. And with that probably sorts out this mess of parliament thinking they can do it. That's because why I went back. That's why I was yeah. saying that all these things can be solved if, if we enhance uh, the, the standards of journalism, expose journalists to more training and even the media mm. owners themselves and uh, strengthen that self regulatory mechanism in-house uh, among citizens if you do, you do anything inappropriate yeah. they should punish you <laughs> if, if they cannot deal with it in-house mm -hmm. move to the media mm -hmm. council and uh, remember also we have defamation laws yeah. you know if you misbehave if yeah. you call me certain names I, I can sue you mm -hmm. I, and I will get damages which mm -hmm. in itself is also punitive yeah. you know so we should actually balance the interest of uh, freedom of the media vis-a-vis -vis putting in place uh, punitive measures that act as a check on uh, unruly journalists. Mm. There, there's a question here. Somebody is really questioning why we, in, we invited you in the first place, saying this interview is partisan. You should have brought those supporting the bill. Otherwise, we're just blowing our own trumpet. Well, and the, <laughs> the answer to that is that we had invited um, mm -hmm. uh, the, what you call the member for the man, uh, uh, Jamle Kamau, Jamle Kamau. Kiguma member of parliament. Kiguma member of parliament. We had invited him. Mm -hmm. We tried to get him to come here he, he, so he, that he can justify. Absolutely. And why they're supporting. If, uh, in fact, we will we, uh, get the, we get the earliest opportunity yeah, then we'll to get them. Mm -hmm. We'll be very happy to get mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. But, but, but just to look but at, but, uh, looking also, at that question. to answer that, uh, mm -hmm. that, that person, I think 
I've been, I've been a senior citizen of this country. I've served as chairman of law society. Uh, you too can confirm that nobody called me to whip me to come and uh, <laughs> come, come to talk about this. See what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm saying this because this I have the conviction. Yeah. I, I fought for the passage of that constitution. I fought for the freedom of the media. I believe in it. I'm mm -hmm. passionate about it. And I know what danger we'll be exposing ourselves to if we if allow we pass this uh, some very draconian laws to come in in, mm -hmm. in in the form of trying to control the media. So mm -hmm. I want to tell that Kenyan that I, I don't mind if you can look for somebody else mm -hmm. who can come and say other things. But mm -hmm. what I say is what I believe in, mm -hmm. what I can defend, and what I'm passionate Absolutely. about. Absolutely. We appreciate it. But, but for those who have heard the members of parliament talk and support this bill, do you see any wisdom in their push for this bill to be uh, assented to in its current form? Uh, to be very honest, it will be a sad day if, if His Excellency the President was to assent to this bill. Mm -hmm. And I, I think men of goodwill, uh, you saw the speaker of uh, the Senate, Eko Etro. I, I hope the, the Kenyan who sent that text uh, mm -hmm. read, read what was in the media yesterday. The speaker, none other than the speaker of the Senate has requested the president to reject the bill and return it back to the Senate. There are a number of uh, stakeholders, including the former prime minister, Honorable Raila Odinga, who has given reservations, strong reservations on this bill. The former vice president, yeah. uh, Kalonzo Musioka. So really, I'm not, I'm not alone in this. I think there are Kenyans of goodwill, progressive-minded Kenyans, who have uh, uh, sounded very strong objections on, on this bill. And uh, mm. when you talk about members of parliament, I, I don't know, but I've also seen the others who have also uh, aired strong sentiments that mm. that bill should not be assented to. Mm -hmm. So this shows you that there is no uh, really overwhelming uh, support in, in, in support mm. of this bill. Mm. There are strong objections being raised, and uh, wisdom dictates that mm -hmm. the president should uh, listen to these voices, return the bill uh, back to parliament for reconsideration. Mm -hmm. yes. There's another question from Ibada Matungu says, the bill isn't bad, but only wants journalists to establish the route of any particular story they handle. Most of them color their stories using a lot of fabrications just to attract the multitude. Hence, they dirty find individuals' characters. They should be monitored. I, I don't think anybody has any dispute that uh, there should be accountability from the media. What we are, I think, against is who should be pushing that accountability. What, what the objection that uh, some of us are raising is that uh, that uh, accountability push should not be uh, pushed by the government, should not be state controlled. Uh, the best mechanism, as I said, is self-regulation, mm -hmm. multi-sectoral uh, approach. You can, uh, you can have a, a framework that brings in other stakeholders, not necessarily <coughs> to, have, to, uh, to have full control. In fact, even the, the, the state can have some presence in, in that uh, regulatory mechanism. But to fully say, you are ceding this fully to government, that will be sending the wrong signals. Perhaps mm. some, of, some of these people who are asking this question do not know where you came from. <laughs> now, yeah. all the time. Absolutely. When, if a newspaper wrote something against the government, that mm. newspaper would be impounded. Anything they don't go, they don't negative. Go to the mm. They don't go to newsstands and seize the newspapers so that they are not sold at the dawn. There was a time when a publication called Africa Confidential, when it used to write things about Kenya, they were seized at the airport. Well. Physical seizing. Mm -hmm. Newsweek would be bought or to come to the airport and they would take it if it had written articles against the government. We come from, from, from very far. But technology has changed all mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Because you don't have to have physical newspapers to read Time or Africa Confidential. Mm -hmm. You can read the internet and you cannot seize the internet. And there's right. a block, of course, like China. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's a block, the, the entries. Mm -hmm. So pe these people do not seem to understand that we have we come from very far away. Mm -hmm. There used to be a time when journalists used to be arrested for publishing things. The newspaper used to be called by the president. I myself have been called by President Moy mm -hmm. over stories we are writing. These days, those things don't happen. You know, if you allow those kind of people to do it, they will be calling you every new. We understand you are writing a story about Elijah Mwangale. One million. Yeah. In fact, yeah. uh, uh, that, why are you writing that story about Mwangale? <laughs> you should not write the president has said, or the board that, that you know that the, 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 the board they want to establish. Mm. He'll call you and say, 
Don't write that story because you're writing about yeah. some minister who is stealing something. Mm -hmm. it's, it's kind yeah, of so I, I agree with, with yeah, Muteki that. Mm -hmm. yeah, in fact, mm -hmm. it's, it's not just the, 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 the media that is exercising some freedom. I, I, I even recall that when I was the chairman of law society and, and I was trying to push for some accountability from the judiciary. You remember the appointment yeah. of judges? Yeah. It, you used to wake up one day and you get an announcement from State House that people have been appointed judges. You don't know. So Ferry was a magistrate. <laughs> eh? Never, he didn't, he didn't even have a degree. Yeah. <laughs> he will be appointed a judge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. This is this you can do. So we, we have come along. Where we are now, you can yeah. see, and, and thank God to some of us who have fought very hard. Mm -hmm. We now have a, a situation where even judges face uh, an interview. They're subjected to an interview, uh, scrutiny by the public before the names are sent to the president for appointment. These kind of fights, we, we cannot accept if we wake up tomorrow and we are told we want to reverse these gains. Mm -hmm. any, any gain that we have uh, achieved as a country, including this one of freedom of the media, uh, less control by the state, should ne we should never reverse those gains. Once we make some gain, we must defend our tough as, as a people. And, and I just want to also steal a minute and, and tell you, Mutegi, that uh, I'm, I'm actually running uh, for that position of Judicial Service Commission. Uh, uh, elections are going mm. to be for the, for the, for the in, in December to represent the law society. To represent the law society in, of Kenya. In place of uh, in Nassir place of Abdullah Ahmed Nasir, yeah. who is retiring in, in, in uh, December. Mm. So some of these things that we believe in uh, passionately. If I sat in that commission and somebody woke up uh, one day to tell me now, we want to reverse the gains that have been made, <laughs> we must resist it. Absolutely. You know, and yeah. that's why I'm saying even the media, where we are now, please... Let's send a very strong message that we have come a long way. This has not been easy. And if we, we go back, we'll be going back to the Stone Age, to the Dark Ages where we have come from. If it were not for free, free freedom yes. of the president, do you mm. think Gilo now, that what, what is facing Gilo? Mm. His appointments he made, which are illegal. We wouldn't have known. We wouldn't have known. Mm. They would have gone and said that cannot be published. That mm. is it. Yeah, but In but fact, we, would, we wouldn't have known. Uh, so many things that uh, are exposed by, by the media. Mm. We used to say, mm. even uh, if you look at the index survey, that the best uh, person in exposing corruption is the media. Mm -hmm. It is there. Statistics are there. <laughs> so that we wrap it in, 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 in a way that uh, the viewers will understand. Uh, just getting some of the comments. Karanja from Mbakasi says, if anything, media in Kenya is highly irresponsible and arrogant, if media bosses order journalists not to respond to police orders, then ordinary Kenyans should defy too. And then another person uh, says here, you are only complaining because it touches you as the media. When, you, when the traffic bill of imposing hefty fines was passed, you welcomed it. You supported it. And then perhaps a final one here. Uh, this is Muirotsi from Kapsab. It says, the media's reaction to this bill is suspect as Cholet's reaction to her problem at the judiciary. Is the media shopping for public sympathy? Does the media <laughs> publish for itself? <laughs> <laughs> Who consumes the media? The media? <laughs> what, that, those kind, the, that part of the, the, the mm -hmm. Who consumes the media? Mm -hmm. The media does not write for, for itself. itself. It's for the public. Mm -hmm. Does that person want to be, to be informed? Mm -hmm. uh, the media is, is, is not like a... Um, it's not like a... Well, you tell why you, you cook, you cook for yourself. For yourself. No, no, no. no. You cook for other people. Uh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, mm. and, and also, I As think uh, mm. we, we are the biggest stakeholders and consumers of uh, the information mm. that is passed across by, by, by the media. So I, I, I also want to urge uh, Kenyans to look at, it, uh, at this very objectively. That uh, in as much as I don't know whether you want to protect your turf, but what some of us are fighting for is, is uh, to ensure that we have space to be informed. What we want is a climate where uh, we'll be able to receive as much information as possible from the media without self-censorship. Uh, mm -hmm. Because once you pass laws that are very scary to, to the media, Mutegi here will be fearing that if I publish this, then one million fine will hit me. So that, is, that will be a form of censorship. Mm -hmm. You know, censorship does not mean that you just ban a particular uh, media house or a, a particular pa uh, publication. You can also impose fines that uh, drive you out of business. Uh, that would be a uh, form and of and censorship. And that self-censorship <laughs> was very much there common during my time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember one day one editor told me, I have a family to feed. 
There were pictures which came about demolition at um, uh, by station. And the editor put the pictures down there and said, I have a family to feed. Mm -hmm. That the pictures never saw the light of day. Not because of that, because of mm -hmm. fear. Because of fear. Yeah. All right. So the debate continues on and um, of course uh, overwhelming support for the bill not to be assented to and that's something that the president has spoken about. I'm just looking at uh, some of the positive remarks here. Uh, somebody says here, our MPs have a personal vendetta against the journalists because of the way they have consistently exposed their greed. That is Jacob from Nairobi. Uh, somebody says here, bravo loyal Congo Mogeni. Uh, journalists are professionals like any other. Journalists are parents and deserve respect. Gagging the media isn't the solution. We need information as per our constitution. That is Morley. Thank you so much indeed, Okongo again for being part of the Power Breakfast, John. Thank you so much for your comments as well. We'll be right back. Don't go away.